It's Friday evening, and boy, has it been a week. Hello, hello, I'm Steve Reinhardt, CEO of Artificial Intelligence Technology Solutions. We are trading under the ticker AITX on the OTC pink, but maybe not for long, I don't know. Folks, I figure this week there are probably more viewers than we typically get. I think that the folks in AITX are pretty happy. I'm using the measure of my phone being on fire for most of today as what's kind of tipping me off that I think we got very, very happy uh, community members out there. I love that. If you're new to the AITX community, welcome. Welcome to our community. I encourage you, join the Discord. It's well moderated. And when you've got questions or you just want to join the community, meet some people, find out what's happening, talk to people that have been involved in the stock for years, join the AITX Discord. Okay, now what we do is, you know, we do stuff all week long, keeping everybody up to date and we do tweets and we do press releases and we do occasional additional interviews and so on and so forth. But this is the weekly update, and this is usually about 10 to 15 minutes, 5 to 15 minutes, and we have a list of things that I think are important that I want to share with you, and that's what we do on this. But just keep in mind, welcome to the community. It's a good place to be. We've got consistency, performance. I mean, listen, we've invented all kinds of cool stuff, hardware, software, new processes, we're getting traction, and, uh, and I hope we finish up a fantastic year and have a brilliant future. That's what we're working towards. I hope you enjoy being part of our community, and I hope it's profitable for you. Let's jump into this week's weekly update. All right, first thing is, this morning, press release. We won a bunch of awards. We love that. I'm not minimizing it, but okay, that's cool. What's cooler is that our partner, Ecam Secure, owned by Garda World, which is, I want to say, the third or fourth largest security company in the world, won an award for their rebranding of our AVA. They call it the Digital Doorman. How cool is that? That is cool. That makes me happy. I hope it makes you happy, too. Um, those who, who follow along know that uh, the week started out with a, a pretty tough tour of duty. It was... Uh, Early flight to D.C. on Monday, early flight to Atlanta on Tuesday. Uh, D.C. was great. D.C. got to press the flesh, as they say, uh, handshaking, with uh, some of the country's top chief security officers. Uh, chief security officers use a C-suite acronym, CSO, and meeting these folks uh, is always great. I know a bunch, but uh, always love to meet more. Love to do that type of networking. Hear directly what's on their mind. And after finishing a few conversations, uh, more than ever am I confident that we are on the right track. So that was good stuff. And listen, you know, you're part of the community now. Hey, you're watching. You're in. You're in. So let's share some more information. Yesterday, I think it was yesterday... I don't know, the days and weeks are all a blur to me. But this week, probably yesterday, I did, I'm saying I did a really great interview with James Hicks. Really skilled interviewer. He's a really cool guy because he worked for big tech for 25 or 30 years. He comes to the interview with a great perspective, and I think he's got great character. So, um... His name's James Hicks. I encourage you, watch the video. It's kind of cool. Uh, the link is here. I hope the link has been put up here. So the link is here. Check it out. And uh, are we talking about AITX? A little bit. We're not talking about AITX too much. What we're doing in the call is I'm sharing. You know, I'm putting myself out there, sharing a little bit about where I came from, who I am, where I want things to go. In the OTC, a lot of the trading decisions are made uh, ultimately on character and connection. I believe this. And as such, 
you know, for better or for worse, I put myself out there and share my thoughts and who I am and where I'm going. Uh, and I do that in order to give uh, fans and followers and investors and traders an opportunity to get to know me a little bit and use that as part of your judgment and use that as part of your due diligence. I think that's important. And I think that after you watch these week after week after week, because I don't think we've missed one in a ever, ever, um, you got a good sense of where we're going and you match that to performance. Anyway, check out the James Hick video. If you like, I recommend it. It's easy listening. Uh, wow, 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 wow. December 7th. You've heard me talk about it before, but I'm adding a little bit more color to it. Uh, rad dog. All I got to say is rad dog. A lot of work that team put together this week. We have uh, some prototype rad dogs running around, terrifying anybody in the neighborhood. It's fantastic. And uh, I'm excited about that. I think you're going to go bananas when you see it on December 7th. Subscribe now so you don't miss it. Uh, go on AITX.AI, fill out an application. If you're in the Detroit area, if you want to fly up and see it in person, there's still some spots left. That's December 7th, Rad Dog. You're going to want to see it. At the same time, let's talk about terrifying. Uh, I think I had an earlier press release this week about uh, some testimony that I gave in Texas remotely. I gave it remotely from Atlanta on Tuesday morning. But uh, the DA uh, just emailed me, actually, about a half hour ago, and she said, thank you, which was very sweet. And she said that the jury convicted the suspect, so he is now a convict. I don't know. He's guilty. Anyway, the jury convicted, and we can say it. He's guilty. <sighs> 20 years. 20 years in jail. Ay, caramba. Don't stab people. Just I'm, it's, This is my public service announcement, guys. Don't stab people. You might end up in jail for 20 years. It's not a good idea. That's what happened to this guy. 20 years in jail. I don't mean to make a joke of it. I'm serious. Don't stab people. Uh, 20 years in jail and a $1,000 fine, which is kind of interesting. I don't know. $1,000 fine? Anyway, $1,000 fine, 20 years in jail. AITX helped. So very cool. Uh, moving on, Romeo. Romeo keeps selling. Like, we, we finished the production run. Like, there's no more. Like, we're taking orders for August for Romeo 3.0, and we're still selling them. So that's cool, right? I find that cool. I love what we do. It's so fun. There's so many things going on. We have been working really hard building and buying inventory so we can build more. We have our eye to get 140 units built over the next several weeks, couple months, whatever, right? We build every week and ship every every week. It's kind of like a running total, so it's kind of hard for me to keep up on it. But I do know that 140 is the number. Yay! Material is flowing in. Next thing I want to share is Bailey's gift. Uh, we probably have some photos, so going to put up some photos now, but Bailey's gift has been deployed. The first Bailey's gift is deployed. We're going to dial it in now. Uh, I know there's probably going to be, oh my goodness, why is the cable hanging there? Um, that's how the school wanted it. That's how they ran the power. Not going to get into it. Please don't assault my social media with why is the cable there. Please don't. Um, it's there because it had to be there for how the school wanted it to be. But it's up, and it's cool, and we're going to dial it in. Maybe we'll get some press out of it as well. So very, very cool. Everybody, I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you're running into this weekend with smiles. Think about December 7th. Hit me up. I get back to everybody. It might, not, it might just be a like. It might be a thumbs up. It might be something more concrete. But I read it. I love it. I appreciate it. Thank you guys very, very much for working together with us to make this a great week. Last thing, last thing, uh, OTCQB. Uh, I do want to say that if we stay in compliance with that last element required from the OTCQB, 
then uh, we will be applying again, okay? I don't give up. You guys know me. I don't give up. We're not giving up. Let's get to the QB. Now it's like I got like, it's like a dog with a bone. I want that. I want that QB. So hopefully we can stay in compliance with the requirements and we can get there. Anyway, that's what we got, everybody. Have a great weekend. Thank you.